Participants of the Washington Heights Corner Project came together to launch their book, Corner Stories 2, by sharing these personal experience with addiction, incarceration, and homelessness, they highlighted the importance of harm reduction and needle exchange work happening in the community. Fighting an array of social stigmas, these writers broke the silence on realities we don't often speak about and educated their neighbors on the importance of being healthy, aware, and educated about the safe usage and disposals of needles. Corner Project. It's called Corner Stories. And Corner Project has a lot of groups. And one of the groups that they had was a writer's group. So we came here to read our stories, to be recognized, and I guess to um, live a dream, a dream that most of us had of being recognized. People are going through uh, rape, all type of struggles, incarceration, like I said, are going through uh, fighting police, stereotypes. So people could hear and see that uh, there's people out here and these things really go on, so they could really hear that normal people really go through these things, you know, and, and they, they could hear it for themselves, you know. My story, or my brother's story, which I was sharing, um, hopefully will spare someone from picking up a dirty needle. It's about my life, you know, uh, where I was uh, born and raised at, you know, which was Chicago, Illinois, and it had a lot to do with being um, brought up in, you know, the, the life of gang violence. All the other stories may inspire others to avoid the mistakes that we have made along the way. I went through a, a time of relationship. I was married, and, um, I, 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 I was having problems with my marriage, but I almost, you know, brought something home, which is dangerous. I had a child, you know. I got two children now, where, and I, I almost got her infected with HIV because the girl ended up getting sick, you know. But I ended up leaving her. Be, you know, we ended up, you know, parting ways, you know, and um, I, I took that big chance of all damaging my life and damaging her life. And that's a serious thing. I really don't care as much as, I do care about my life, but it would have been worse to, you know, to hurt her, you know? So that, that's what would have been even worse to tell her, you know, that I, that's like that's practically almost a death sentence, you know, you could say. Even more because it's torture it's slowly, you know? I think and I hope that what this bug does is open people's eyes and realize that one, we're all human, we all make mistakes. But we're alive to tell these stories so maybe you won't make those mistakes. Washington Ice Corner Project is a harm reduction needle exchange program. And we work with people with diabe diabetics, hormone users, steroid users, people that actually um, need needles clean needles, not to reuse their needles. We educate them not to reuse their needles. We educate them to um, safe dispose of their needles, safe disposal. We educate them about hepatitis C. We educate them about HIV. We work in Hamilton Heights. We work in Washington Heights. We work in Inwood. And hopefully by next year, we'll have another site in Hamilton Heights. I, um, today's I'm not the same person I was then, you know, and um, the things that I went through then, I don't go through now, so I, I, I deal with them better. I, if I would've knew what I, I knew, if I would've knew then what I know now, I wouldn't have did those things in, in the past. Sometimes clean now, I was a um, heroin user, a very, very hard addict. Uh, and, 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 and addicted to alcohol and heroin and crack cocaine, and today I'm clean, you know, and I, I, I feel good, you know what I'm saying, and I, I'm very open about that, and, I, and I'm very, I feel, you know, very comfortable about myself. Well, it's, it, be, it wasn't comfortable at first, but it, it just, it became comfortable because you need to tell a story now that, that there's responsibility as a father. It's good to tell stories like that, now that you went through it, and you know, I'm negative, you know, stuff like that. It's been years, almost 10 years since that happened. So I'm negative and I'm, it's a good story to tell. So, you know, the youth could hear and to learn about things like that.